All right, so I'm gonna start explaining to you guys how to, we're gonna go ahead and start with some, some outer door handles for 65 through 68 Chevy Impalas. Um, that's what they fit. They also fit Caprices. Uh, so we're gonna start showing, I already have one mounted. I'll have a few right here, samples that are already stripped and polished that are just, just with diamond cut. Some are just raw. So the first one is not diamond cut. Um, I'm gonna show one with how I would normally lay it out. And from there, just move forward to doing it without uh, drawing. And then I'll probably do two of them, mirror image to show you guys that it's done uh, just from my head to the metal, not something that I lay out all the time to show you guys that that's what you guys are actually paying for, the 20 years of experience of doing this. Um, so, Hope you guys like it. I'm gonna try to save it my best. Last time I was unable to save the, I don't know if it was Instagram or my phone or whatever, but it didn't let me save to my phone. I would like to post it for YouTube. Um, so here we go, I'm gonna flip the camera around now. So, <clears throat> so this is uh, 65 through 68, that's what they fit. Okay, they they are original they're not aftermarket and so here's some that have the diamond cut edge already done so gonna go ahead and start doing the layout on that pass the phone here to Victor he's gonna be the film guy today say hi no all right <laughs> so he's a little shy he's, uh, he's gonna be training with us here pretty soon so um, but we're gonna start doing this and we'll figure something out. For NV underscore TX, uh, you're asking about the engraving class. Um, I have it posted on my feed and I will post it again probably this coming week. We do have classes all throughout the year. There's about four or five more classes this year. gonna film it right here okay so start off by doing that just kind of wiping the surface you could wipe it with a rag or whatnot this is already stripped and polished so the chrome's been taken off so what you could do is you can some people will grab a marker So you could draw it like this, just kind of like a quick sketch of a border. You know, I've seen some people where they come this way and they skip all this, they leave it at all blank, which we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go kind of something like this. We're gonna go up and around. You can have a border. Okay. Well, I know that's very rough. I usually don't, the guide, these, I use them as a guideline. I don't usually follow the lines because if I would follow the line, obviously it would be really messed up. But, so what I do then we've got to determine whether we start here, the scroll. So we're gonna start, we could start a scroll here and continue. Okay, then keep going that way. No. And then you can pan out the way you, whatever way you want to. So 
you knew that. Okay. So you could do something like that. <clears throat> but if I erase it, right? It's just a regular black, mac black magic marker, nothing fancy. But also, if I wanted to, we could do, we could actually start. So if I did the border again, a little quick sketch. sketch you could also start from here going that way so you could start here do a scroll back again guys this is just a real rough one it's not you know a final say on this but you could do this like something like that and then continue the design you know I've seen sometimes the guys they'll do a, they'll do like I call it the easy way out which is like a big leaf right here okay which is that's cool if that's your forte you want to do it like that that's cool that's not what we do it we just make sure the scroll goes all the way around and what i'll do is i'll grab a sample give me a second You want to do is you could grab you could grab one of the ones from for sale right now and you'll see that the design the scroll is all the way through you know hold that again. Um, but you'll see it that it flows all the way through okay so it splits that way on this one it splits that way then it splits back so it's all in your design preference how you want to do it so this is from a finished product obviously after the dots get done and whatnot and and then one more thing i will say this again and i'll say it and i'll keep saying it the dots are not a style that's just the background fill okay there's shading for background there's removal there's dots there's filling work it's not a style that is just the background a style is a different style of engraving okay so don't be fooled when somebody tries to sell you on something that they say is a different style, quotes. It's not a different style, okay? That's just a different background. It's just a removal process, that's it. It's a, just a background to make it stand out one way or the other. So, you know, I'm getting real frustrated with a lot of people that say, oh, well, they have some different style. Oh, so-and-so says it's a different style. Okay, good for them. They wanna say that, that's good. I've been doing this for 20 years. I'll tell you right now, there's not a different style. Okay? That's just the background. So we're going to continue with this. Um, sorry, I had to vent a little bit because I just don't like hearing that when it's, it's just a little funny to me, honestly. But I um, want you guys to enjoy this video. We're going to keep uh, videoing this uh, door handle here. So... We're gonna continue. We're gonna erase this here. And I'll just put a little bit of cutting oil. Nothing big. Okay. Now this doesn't usually carve like a regular curl wood. Okay. So <clears throat> and uh, if you guys hear the compressor in the background, just uh the just don't mind the compressor we're gonna try to talk over it so i'm gonna start on the border okay
Try to get that border all the way to the back. So that way right here, you can kind of see that there's like even gap. I'm not drawing it. I'm just gonna go ahead and just give you guys Okay, there's one background border in the back. Okay, so now we'll do the front face. We'll do that back corner. We already did that little corner here. the whole front border of the front part of the door handle now we can determine <clears throat> We can determine where the design goes. And we start from here going that way or we start from here going that way. I think on this one, I'm gonna go that way. I'm gonna continue doing the backbone of the scroll all throughout here and then we'll keep moving forward.
For anybody that can't watch it live, I'll uh, repost it on the story and it'll stay on there for 24 hours. The goal would be try to post this on uh, YouTube. Okay, so now we got that whole section done, but we'll keep moving forward. Like I was saying, I was gonna originally just do the backbone of the whole thing, but then I just decided to just go ahead and fill that in, and then we'll just continue doing all this now. Now, if you guys see any little hairline scratches uh, from overages or any of that, is, uh, just remember, all this gets repolished. The engraving's deep. The engraving's deep enough that when we're done, we could still polish it over the engraving. So when you get the product, it's not really sharp and a bunch of metal burrs everywhere and all that. So now we're done with that backbone for the rest of the haul. So now we'll just do the fill and leafing. Right. 
I'm almost done with this door handle. We'll mount up the next one. So that's that's done now. So now a little quick, quick wipe down. So this one's done now. We just got to do the background fill. So what I'll do is I'll mount the opposite door handle and we'll do the other side. So now we'll we'll transfer over everything, but most people will just draw it over. I'm going to go ahead and engrave it without drawing it to show that you know we can do that um so and there's different ways there's different ways you can go about it you can actually if you wanted to you can go ahead and do the border and then go over and then just put little nicks of the spacing or you could draw the whole thing however you you wanted to um the other little way i do do it is um i'll show you guys is I, I just mount this into a little block of wood. It's nothing fancy. It's just a little homemade jig. Um, it's worked for me for years. So, you know, it's just a little piece of wood. And, and it usually works on most Impala door handles uh, most years. Um, so... Tighten this up. You don't want to get bolts too long because it will pop through the casting on the other side. And that's not fun to fix somebody's door handle. Okay. So now I'll throw a little bit of oil on there. A little bit of cutting oil. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the border first, and then we'll, I'll show you guys my little secret of uh, how to transfer sometimes over without drawing it. So. It kinda starts similar, to back. back one Now we're going to go around here. On door handles, you do have to be careful because you can go with a deeper chisel and press harder and whatnot, but it is a casting. This is hollow inside. Some right here? That is a, it's a casting. It is hollow and you can poke a hole through this. If you poke a hole through this, it becomes a little bit of a nightmare to get it fixed. I've seen it to where people sell stuff that has holes through it. Um, I, to me, that just doesn't show me they take pride in what they're doing. So, and it's, it's not the customer's fault that there's holes in something. You know, it has to be fixed before you chrome it.
I didn't like that line, so I just went over it a little bit, make it a little fatter, a little wider. Okay, so now that we have the border done on that, okay, so, so to not draw it, this is how I transfer it over. So I said I didn't draw it. Doesn't necessarily mean I'm not transferring it. So just with the tip of the chisel, okay, barely like make a little nick, okay. And it'll give you a start and stop with your scroll. Now, obviously, that's if you feel comfortable enough to do something like that. Okay. So then, then there's a scroll there and a scroll there. So you got to kind of try to just, you know. So, so then now we'll go ahead and grab this. So I'll just kind of kind of make a a little line in the oil. Okay, and then we'll start engraving. the backbone so that and that okay so then we could add that one or we could add that one the one that goes that way or that way we have the little stopping point and a little slight little scratch very minimal little soft sandpaper that thing will come right off so and plus we buff it over once we're done so you'll never see those little hairline scratches okay so then you just so this one will come out this way, okay, and then this one will go out that way, all right, and then there's the inside one here, so continue on this. So, so if you see, there's those little scratches. I don't know if you guys can see them or not. That tells me where the next scroll will start. Very light. 
I mean, if you zoom out, you can't really even see it, okay? But they're very, very faint. Just enough for me to see them as I'm engraving, all right? So you guys kind of match this up like that. Remember, these are going on left and the right side of the car, okay? You want to put them next to each other? Go ahead, okay? So, go ahead. All right. And continue doing the backbone. Okay, so now we're done. Now we're done with the whole backbone. So now we could fill it all in. Now, if you guys see it matched up, you could actually see that that is the same. Okay, go like that. Any angle you put it at. Now, granted, I know. This is the opposite side of the car, but you should take pride in putting a mirror image to the left and the right side of the vehicle, no matter if it is six to eight feet apart. So we'll continue filling it all in and we'll be wrapping it up. Okay.
done with this whole section right here. I'll just finish up all these little scrolls right here. That door handle's a wrap. Actually, here, hold it for a little bit. So, you guys see it? Left and right, matches up, lines up, same amount of scrolls, facing the same direction. If you would mirror it. It was just a mirror image of what I just did. Okay. So. Wrap this up. I'm gonna do it. So when you see it like this, you'll see that the door handles obviously, you know, wouldn't look like that on the cars. They would be mounted like so. So you see for them to match up left and right.
All right, so that wraps it up for the door handles, 